Chapter 29 The festival of trumpets will be celebrated on the appointed day in early autumn each year. You must call a solemn assembly of all the people on that day, and no regular work may be done. On that day you must present a burnt offering, very pleasing to the Lord. It will consist of one young bull, one ram, and seven one-year-old male lambs, all with no physical defects. These must be accompanied by grain offerings of choice flour mixed with olive oil, five quarts with the bull, three quarts with the ram, and two quarts with each of the seven lambs. In addition, you must sacrifice a male goat as a sin offering to make atonement for yourselves. These special sacrifices are in addition to your regular monthly and daily burnt offerings, and they must be given with their prescribed grain offerings and drink offerings. These offerings are given to the Lord by fire and are very pleasing to Him. Ten days later you must call another holy assembly of all the people. On that day, the Day of Atonement, the people must go without food and no regular work may be done. You must present a burnt offering very pleasing to the Lord. It will consist of one young bull, one ram, and seven one-year-old male lambs, all with no physical defects. These offerings must be accompanied by the prescribed grain offerings of choice flour mixed with olive oil, five quarts of choice flour with the bull, three quarts of choice flour with the ram, and two quarts of choice flour with each of the seven lambs. You must also sacrifice one male goat for a sin offering. This is in addition to the sin offering of atonement and the regular daily burnt offering with its grain offering and their accompanying drink offerings. Five days later, you must call yet another holy assembly of all the people, and on that day no regular work may be done. It is the beginning of the festival of shelters, a seven-day festival to the Lord. That day you must present a special whole burnt offering by fire, very pleasing to the Lord. It will consist of thirteen young bulls, two rams, and fourteen one-year-old male lambs, all with no physical defects. Each of these offerings must be accompanied by a grain offering of choice flour mixed with olive oil, five quarts for each of the thirteen bulls, three quarts for each of the two rams, and two quarts for each of the fourteen lambs. You must also sacrifice a male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular daily burnt offering with its accompanying grain offering and drink offering. On the second day of this seven-day festival, sacrifice twelve young bulls, two rams, and fourteen one-year-old male lambs, all with no physical defects. Each of these offerings of bulls, rams, and lambs must be accompanied by the prescribed grain offering and drink offering. You must also sacrifice a male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular daily burnt offering with its accompanying grain offering and drink offering. On the third day of the festival, sacrifice eleven young bulls, two rams, and fourteen one-year-old male lambs, all with no physical defects. Each of these offerings of bulls, rams, and lambs must be accompanied by the prescribed grain offering and drink offering. You must also sacrifice a male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular daily burnt offering with its accompanying grain offering and drink offering. On the fourth day of the festival, sacrifice ten young bulls, two rams, and fourteen one-year-old male lambs, all with no physical defects. Each of these offerings of bulls, rams, and lambs must be accompanied by the prescribed grain offering and drink offering. You must also sacrifice a male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular daily burnt offering with its accompanying grain offering and drink offering. On the fifth day of the festival, sacrifice nine young bulls, two rams, and fourteen one-year-old male lambs, all with no physical defects. Each of these offerings of bulls, rams, and lambs must be accompanied by the prescribed grain offering and drink offering. You must also sacrifice a male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular daily burnt offering with its accompanying grain offering and drink offering. On the sixth day of the festival, sacrifice eight young bulls, two rams, and fourteen one-year-old male lambs, all with no physical defects. Each of these offerings of bulls, rams, and lambs must be accompanied by the prescribed grain offering and drink offering. You must also sacrifice a male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular daily burnt offering with its accompanying grain offering and drink offering. On the seventh day of the festival, sacrifice seven young bulls, two rams, and fourteen one-year-old male lambs, all with no physical defects. Each of these offerings of bulls, rams, and lambs must be accompanied by the prescribed grain offering and drink offering. 
You must also sacrifice one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular daily burnt offering with its accompanying grain offering and drink offering. On the eighth day of the festival, call all the people to another holy assembly. You must do no regular work on that day. You must present a burnt offering very pleasing to the Lord. It will consist of one young bull, one ram, and seven one-year-old male lambs, all with no physical defects. Each of these offerings must be accompanied by the prescribed grain offering and drink offering. You must also sacrifice one male goat as a sin offering, in addition to the regular daily burnt offering with its accompanying grain offering and drink offering. You must present these offerings to the Lord at your annual festivals. These are in addition to the sacrifices and offerings you present in connection with vows, or as free will offerings, burnt offerings, grain offerings, drink offerings, or peace offerings. So Moses gave all of these instructions to the people of Israel, just as the Lord had commanded him.